Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee with Me and Jesus. I would like to talk today about our mindset and what the Word of God has to say about our mind and where we should have our, our mind fixed and what things we should have our mind fixed on. And if you will, let's go into the Word of God and let's read what thus saith the Lord in Philippians 4, 8. And I will read what the Word says. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Sometimes, friends, we have a lot of things that come our way through our hearing, through our listening. And God really was uh, putting into my husband and myself in our conversation of all the things that are out there and what state of mind the world is in today and how people are robbed of their joy, their peace, and all the things that God has instructed us to think on and to act on because of these interruptive thoughts that bring uh, fear and turmoil. And in the Word of God, again, let, uh, for your information, in the Second Timothy 1.7, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. And sometimes when we get to listening to things, they produce those things. So we have to be mindful and watchful and careful of what we are allowing into our thoughts. Because that can really rob us of our peace of mind and the joy and the abundant life that God has to give for us, give, has given for us. And we were talking, my husband and I, about uh, uh, my girlfriend had sent me a clip of all these people that were missing in um, Michigan. They're supposed to be all that this man is on YouTube and he's talking about all these people that are missing in Michigan. Well, I went to bed and I had put that, uh, I hadn't really listened to it. I wanted my husband to listen to it with me. And we were sitting there and we were listening or laying there and listening to this video. And we woke up first thing this morning talking about this incident. And I thought, and my husband was saying, well, my goodness, it sounds like everybody's got to wear guns anymore. And I said, well, you know, that's, there's so many things that the world has out there. So many, many things. And there is a lot of evil out there, people. But we have to remind each other of what the Word says and where to think on and what to think on. Because if we don't, we're going to step over into worry. We're going to step over into fear. We're going to be bombarded with all these unnecessary things and thoughts that we can't even do anything about. I mean, if there's, if there's, or there are horrible things happening throughout the world, throughout our own country. But really, what can you and I do about it? We can't do anything. We can pray. And God is the one who can move. But I don't believe God wants us to be consumed in thought and having our day be in this state of turmoil because he's, he clearly says about having a sound mind. He says right here, again, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. So God wants us to be sound in our thinking. There's all kinds of people out there, and there's all kinds of ugly stuff happening, but don't engage in that, and don't let it rob you of the joy and the love that God has for you. That's my advice to you. I know there's so many things going on, and there's things going on in our own families. 
I hear. And I myself have gone through through many things like that where family is against brother and sister against each other and there's so much the way the families can act is just ridiculous. And then what's even more ridiculous is those of us who, who have received the word of God and know the truth allow those kind of people to steal our joy. And it doesn't matter if it's your mother, your brother, your sister, anybody, anybody, husband, children, don't let them steal your joy. We have to be tunnel visioned and keep our eyes on God and keep our understanding to what God is telling us to keep our, I'm going to read it again because it's important. It's important that we know what thus saith the Lord. Philippians 4, 8, finally, brethren, brethren, finally, whatsoever things are true, if they're not true, don't give ear to it. Whatsoever things are honest, if you are listening to people talk about dishonest things, dishonest acts they're doing, get away from them. Whatsoever things are just, if there are people who are bragging about the unjust that they've gotten over on somebody, get away from them. Whatsoever things are pure, if you're listening or putting yourself in a position to be around filth, and unclean things, and you know that those people are that way, my goodness, what business does light have with darkness? Get away. Whatsoever things are lovely, all that ugly stuff, that stuff that when you're around it, it like puts a yuck in you. You just, it's not, your spirit is saying, ugly, ugly, filth, get away from it. Get, run, get away from it. Whatsoever things are of good report. Now, if you're listening to somebody that all they like to do is gossip and talk about this person or that person or laugh and joke of the hardships they have, that's, that's bad conversation. You don't even want to be around that. And if there be any virtue and be any praise, think on these things. So be around people who truly love, who are not people who want to harm you or harm others, people who are, can build you up and not tear you down. You don't have any business being with those people, those kind of people. And you don't have, all they're doing is robbing your joy. And eventually, you know that old saying, birds of a feather flock together? Eventually, they're going to have an impact on you. So, as much as you love your families, if you have family that are still walking in that way, please stay away from them because it's going to have an impact on you. You're going to leave the day thinking or talking about the bad things about that person. And God doesn't want you to, to, to walk that way. God wants you to be full of joy, full of love, the abundance of this life that he has for you. He wants you to be happy and joyful and showing compassion and talking good about your fellow servants. If you don't have anything nice to say, well, hey, maybe you need to shut up. Maybe you need to zip the lip because it's not, it's not profiting you anything because it's like the scripture we said yesterday. It's not what goes in the mouth, but what comes out of the mouth. You're damning your own soul. And you're doing it all in the name of someone else. So wise up, people. We are people who need correction. God corrects us. And God says in his word, he disciplines those that he loves. So I am telling you that if you are guilty of any of those things that we've talked about, and believe me, we all do it. We all at some point do it. But we have a father who sent Jesus Christ, our advocate, and he has forgiven us. And we're in a daily, daily changing of things. But don't be deceived, my friends. You cannot continue to walk in this and then, you know, an hour later say, forgive me, forgive me. That's just being a fool. So 
I pray that this will help you to get your mind on whatsoever things are good and stay clear. Be so wise of what you're allowing your ear to be inclined to. Because in the end of the word, Revelations, it says, let he who has an ear hear what the Spirit is saying. I'm sure those things that are not of God are not coming from God, and your ear should not be inclined to those. So let's clean out our ears, people. Let's do the right thing. Let's not beat ourselves up about it, but let's make a choice. We've come to a crossroads, so let's apply the word and let's live the word. Not only readers of the word, but we're going to be doers of the word. Because faith without works is to no avail. So don't be claiming that you're these people of God and then your actions show different. So take that and let's all learn from it, from the word of God. And we'll all, we'll, we will all grow and grow and grow and become those pure people with pure hearts where God said his eye searches to and fro to find those pure hearts so that he can show his greatness. In Jesus' name, have a blessed day. And thank you so much. And God be with you this Thursday. Bye-bye now.